we're going to learn how to use locators to transfer animation and also space switch or switch spaces from world space to local space. I will be using a script from Morgan Loomis called World Bake. Okay, so let's take a look at what the animation is like here. So it looks like the global controller below him was animated to make him look like he's actually walking forward in space instead of just walking in place. So we want the character to walk forward without an animated global controller. You can do that by selecting the feet and all the IQ controls. Uh, make sure maintain constraint is on and then just bake it. Okay, let's take a look. The locators came in really small, so I scaled up all the locators here. It looks like the feet worked, the knees did not. Um, the feet are now in world space because the animation is on the locator and the feet controllers are constrained to the locators. Yeah, I forgot the root here. Scale that up too. Okay, so. For this example right now, when we currently have this in world space, the root in world space, the feet in world space, but not the knees, which is okay. We're gonna we're just gonna fix that later. So since the feet and the root are now in world space, if I move the globe controller, it won't affect anything. Like it, none of those controllers will move. And now that we look at it, uh, here, the feet. And the root are constrained to the locator, so they're moving, but the animation is still on the locators. We want the animation from the locators on the rig, so we'll bake it from the locators back to the controller. Okay. Oh, we we'll need to select all of the locators first. Bake it back. And now. Everything's moving forward without an animated global control. We move the IK feet, the knees, and the root controller out of local space. So it no longer was driven or affected by the global controller. And put it on locators so that they were in world space. Then we baked it back to the controllers, putting it back into local space. 